Good morning, everyone. It is Brooklyn from Bungalow University online on Facebook. And um, it occurred to me that y'all might uh, benefit from seeing the process of how I go um, on vacation <laughs> and pre plan posts so that I can enjoy myself and know that I'm taking care of you guys at the same time. So I'm just going to kind of show you that. Right now you're looking at my extremely messy desktop. Um, hopefully everybody else has something similar to this that doesn't look all organized and everything. Um, I'm going to show you basically how I went back through a simple page of notes that I took at a, mark, a DFW social media marketing meetup. Um, Aaron Smith was the speaker and I really liked the notes that I was scratching down and I um, just basically found those in a pile of papers on my desk, went through and I scheduled all my notes as individual posts over time on our Facebook page. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm just going to go over here to um, Bungalow U. Right here click on that um, and I uh, will show you that there's a couple of posts here that have posted on my behalf um, that I scheduled several days ago um, and they post at 1230 every day you can pick what time you want them to post I just chose lunchtime for this particular set of notes um, and the first one was, before embarking on your goals, you must first define success for yourself. That was um, a cleaned up version of what I had written down on my notes. And let me show you what my notes look like. So that's page, that's the back, back side. So here's my note, uh, you know, legal pad piece of paper. And um, number one, I wrote at the very top, define below what success means. And I remembered what she said, and I turned that little, you know, defining what success means to you into a post. Um, and just to not swap back and forth too much, I want to show you that I went through all the notes and the thing, the high, the high points or the important points. I just put a little number beside it, and circled it, and pointed to it, and highlighted it, and I did this part first. I read through the notes which is also a good thing for you to do, is to go back and actually read the notes that you take so that you can better absorb what you learned. Um, then on the back side of that, I started with number six, clear goal. it's about clear goals. Um, then seven, I wanted that one to go next, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And this is about some books that we were all talking about and suggested, um, she had suggested that we read. So, um, or that we read. So anyways, that's one day, one meeting, one hour, and these are the notes that I took. And why not find a house or a place for this content instead of making it all up myself? Um, nobody in Bungalow University really expects me to know everything. And thank God, because I'd be a lot of pressure. I get my information from people much smarter than me. I just go, I show up, I take notes, and I pass it on to you so that you uh, can go about your busy lives. So again, those are my notes. That's my process. I ripped it out, took it inside the house with me, sat on the couch, and during you know the nightly TV show we were watching or whatever, I just kind of read through it during commercials and just highlighted and circled. No big deal. This is where um, it might help you as far as my process goes. So um, I uh, took each one, this is number one, embarking, before embarking on your goals, you must first define success for yourself. You can see how I turned um, define below what success means into that post. Then what I did was I went to a Google search and I typed in the word success. I go to image, images, and then I just scrolled through until I found one that I liked. Then I scooted my page over, clicked on that, 
and I just dragged it over here to my desktop. Now, you can see how easy that was, but let me just delete that one. I don't need extras. Um, I have this little folder called scheduling posts on my desktop. I drag all the pictures that I find into that folder so that I can easily decipher which ones they are on my desktop and delete them all at once after I'm done scheduling. So you can see there's that picture right there. Um, so I just drag it over to my desktop put it in that folder and that way these are all the ones I found in the exact same way for that page of notes because when you're posting something to Facebook you want to make sure that you attach a video or 60% more likely to be looked at read and they get more screen time. They have more virtual real estate on the page because you could see this whole screen right here. The pictures are what capture your eye. All these pictures. So this one was obviously about success and what that means to you in order for you to in order for you to hold the key to that success. So then I've asked a call to action. If you do blank you will gain blank. Complete the sentence in a comment below. There are no wrong answers because success means different things to different people at different points in their life. So I've just asked you to comment. Um, and don't worry if people haven't commented yet like they have it here. It's not a big deal because you really want to foster that community of engagement and that takes a lot of time. So when people come to the group they're going to search back through old posts and they're going to want to chime in so this will eventually um, start gaining traction um, and at first it might not but it's the fact that you've shown up you've been persistent consistent and posted um, over a long period of time so again this right here was content created from one notation on one piece of paper. It took me about three seconds. Now let me show you how I do this. Um, see right here, it says scheduled posts. Here's the number two. It says, number two, success is in direct correlation to the risks you are willing to take. Ask yourself, what outcome will I regret? And you will be able to find out what you're willing to risk. Please tell me below, again, a call to action, what are you willing to risk to reap the rewards of a successful business? And again, I've given Aaron credit right here, and I've called this my 13-day lunchtime series because I figured out there are 13 things that I want to share, and so obviously um, I've only scheduled 12 of them because I plan on doing something special with that uh, book lunch or that uh, book post. So I'm just going to click here so that you can see the posts that are all scheduled on the behalf uh, on behalf of me um, over time. So on Monday I've skipped the weekend. They stop posting on Friday. Saturday and Sunday I give you all a break. And number three, she said your children will grow to be who you are so be who you want them to be. Aaron Smith said that and I chose a picture. I knew exactly what picture I wanted for that. Um, of little Lila in a Volkswagen bus and I'd be perfectly okay if she grew up to be um, like me because I'm a good person and I work really hard and I may holler a lot so I'm working on that but anyways so <laughs> she is a little sweetie and that's the picture I chose. Um, when entrepreneurs take risks and define what they will consider to be successful, a successful outcome, sometimes the outcome isn't near what they thought it would be. Despite an unexpected outcome, often the risk is still worth the unexpected reward. So um, I basically wrote an example of something that happened to me recently, and I mentioned the bazillion dollars in that post. Um, and so I, you know, found a word, I typed in bazillion on Google and found that picture and that's the one I used. So it's really no rhyme or reason. I'm just trying to attach a picture that kind of goes with a major word in the post that I'm doing. No matter how you feel, get up, dress up, show up, and never give up. That's the uh, 
kind of notation that I took there. Anyways, I'm not going to show you all the posts, but I will show you how to schedule one. So you just go to the discussion in your group or on your page, and you type in, I want to show you how to post, schedule a post. Comment below and let me know how this helped you. Okay, so I've said that. So there, there's that. And this is all about scheduling a post. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put schedule scheduling a post. Let's see. Got to go to images. See if there's anything there. Um, nothing. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. But see, it's watermarked with somebody else's stuff. I don't like that. So I'm just going to put scheduling here. And let's see. I like simple pictures because they don't really detract from what it is. That's very me. And that looks really confusing, but I'm going to make it super simple. So I'm going to drag that over there. Hopefully that picture, yep, there's that picture. So I'm going to go back over to here, add a picture, desktop, scroll down to that. Um, picture wherever it is there we go so there we go here is I want to show you how to schedule a post comment below and let me know how this helped you the picture has been added so down here instead of clicking post go over here to this little schedule a post pick the date and time you want it to go out let's say I want it to go out um, in one minute. Schedule posts need to be shared within 30 minutes and two months. That's weird. Um, so let's say I want it to go out tomorrow and 10 30. I'm going to schedule that. So there we go. It's in my scheduled posts. See, I have 11 now. That's going to post tomorrow at 10 30. But because it is not a real post, you can go in here and you can simply edit, <coughs> excuse me, edit the post if you don't like what it says and it will just pull it up and allow you to change things. Or um, you can go in here and like I'm going to do, delete it. So I'm just going to delete that post and it will no longer show up as something that's scheduled to post on my behalf. So I'm really excited that now hopefully you'll see my process. Again, that is one note, one page back and front, okay? It's just flipped over one page. And I found 13 really good pieces of content just from one one-hour meeting that I attended in order to use that information, you have to write it down. You have to attend, uh, you know, trainings and learnings and, you know, school yourself so that you grow. And then write all that down, go back over it, you know, a week later or whatever, collect that content, and just post it into small little chunks that people can read quickly and that add some kind of value to their lives and the success of their businesses or whatever it is that you are trying to do. So I really hope that this little 15 minute tutorial has helped you. Um, please comment on this post and let me know if um, you learned anything and if so, uh, what it is that you learned. And I wholeheartedly 100% um, encourage you to attend the next DFW Social Media Marketing Meetup. Um, go to Aaron Smith's Entrepreneurial Summit next year and uh, just engage and participate in Bungalow U because you get out of it what you put into it. So I appreciate you very much for being here, listening, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.